Last time we played, the game was several versions behind where it is now. It was version uh, way up here at the top. It's kind of hard to see, but 0 0.6.109 is what it was. That was a build from back in October because I had things going on. And here we are now. All is right in the world. With the exception of this radiator not being connected to the electrical grid, I guess. That might be an issue. I want to look up. This is the faster way to do it as far as I can remember the electrical grid to see where we are. So you there you go. We'll use that radiator to um, do radiator things. I think it's supposed to like pull down heat or something. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I remember things. If I recall correctly, we are on our way to another location. We are on our way to Cerberus, and when we get to Cerberus, I, mean, I can't really tell. I guess that looks like a planet compared to that guy, and then we left Wanders. That maybe it looks like a bigger planet, actually. That That's kind of cool. It might be larger. It's larger than Zelinda and Janet's song, for sure. I mean, assuming I can actually uh, <laughs> use that as a... Uh, a verified means of doing things that's definitely larger so maybe that'll give us some more resources currently researching quantum mechanics right now and then we'll get back to the research station which per the comments yes thank you for the reminder that once we have the research station going and people are doing the researching that's going to take a significant chunk of energy namely 400 kilowatts if we were doing quantum mechanics out of the requirements for our electrical system. So a research station is another way to basically solve your electricity needs. No, that's pretty cool. Of course, we still need to find a habitable planet. So uh, that's going to be something that we'll, we'll switch over to shortly now that quantum mechanics is done. That's going to give us the particle collector, which we had one of those, if you might remember. It was right here before. It was right in this little room. So I'm kind of inclined to make a new particle collector. And if we can rotate this guy and pop it right there, I have no idea if we have what we need. Construction seven required. We're gonna need a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of glass for that, okay. Anyway, we're just going to say that is fine. We are missing something for our research. I'm gonna take a guess and say, we need disk space. Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, we were setting up some additional memory modules over here which it doesn't look like we need those right now but that's still good to go ahead and connect to those guys so we're going to need more disk space which i'm a little concerned about destroying these if we don't have proper replacements in place so to speak oh boy okay so we have a bunch of these guys that are really shouldn't have been built this way because we cannot get to that one in the middle if something goes wrong. Ah, oh, goodness. Someone did not plan this crap very well here. Let's do a disk module. We're going to do 24 zettabytes right there. And then we're going to have to replace some of these guys. And yeah, someone's got to rebuild all this. Someone was an idiot and not paying attention. I don't know. The last guy to be playing this game was an idiot. We should probably uh, ignore whatever they were doing. Loom over here. I want to see. Uh, last I remember, we had sufficient things. So let's go ahead and weave a few more hats. I think we need to have a few more of these guys. Let's have maybe like. Uh, we'll do four. Because just in looking what we have there, I keep doing that. I'm going to remember one of these days that this game does not like escape. Just, it's going to take a while. But anyway, we are having more people, more and more people popping out. Which does make me wonder, too, if maybe we should have some additional toilets and additional showers. I mean, we technically still have a little bit of stuff going on over here. So we do have three by technicality. But if you look at the number of people we have, if you might, if you subtract all of these guys and then Whiskers doesn't really count, we have a, a solid like dozen people, which I guess that's fine. But it does kind of leave me a little concerned. I'm not sure what we're missing for some of these things here. All sorts of things, apparently. 
I don't remember what these guys are making. You're making micro ships and you're making transistors. We might have run out of wires. That is a possibility here. Copper wire, we have one. And then all these boxes. Let's see, copper wire. I don't see copper wire in there. I do see a bunch of copper, but not copper wire and a bunch of copper plate in there. So I'm thinking what we need is we need another crafting station. So let's make another crafting station, which probably requires the things that we need yeah, to be able to make the other things to craft the crafting station. But whatever, we'll see if this works. We do have one copper wire in storage somewhere, so maybe someone will use that to put that guy together. Transistor, we're making transistors. Okay, perfect. So you're going to go ahead and put that in place, Manders. Thank you very much. As soon as this thing is done, we're going to switch it over to copper wires because we need to have a bunch of copper wires. That's just, that's where we're at. We, we are really kind of behind. And yes, I know, I see it's right there. On all this stuff going on where we're just... We're straight up missing a lot of things here. So here, let's slow you down. Configure you to copper wires and 10 is probably fine for that. So go ahead and do that. That's fine. So basically, I can probably just go into massive fast forward mode again because, you know, it's going to be a sneeze. Look at that. We are almost at Cerberus. We were not even close to it. Someone has been playing this in uh, 10 times speed a little too much. Well, that's what happens when, you know, you're waiting for things to happen. Is our research done yet? We're still missing wires, aren't we? I wonder if we're missing titanium plates, too. I don't think we are, but we might be. I never quite understand, too. Like, what is the priority on this? I mean, I realize I can change the priority. But when you look at this, it's missing more than just the wires, right? So it's still missing the plates and it's still missing some plastic. And... I said, I don't think we're out of titanium plates because there's titanium. And then, oh gosh, we might be... Nope, there's, see, there's a bunch of titanium plates. I thought we bought a bunch anyway. So there you go. You know what? I want to take a quick look right here. You're at 8% oxygen in this area. I wonder if it wouldn't be a bad idea to create a little corridor that maybe we could oxygenate a little better. I mean, because we're not really at a place right now where I'm ready to to start getting the whole place, the whole ship at a decent temperature and oxygen level. Probably should. I mean, this is stupidly cold in here. This is also being vented, I think. Uh, you are closed. No, that one is open. Just out of curiosity, I want to close that vent because I want to see what the temperature is in this room with a radiator because that's supposed to draw some of the the temperature out of this room, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter that much. I mean, the temperature is coming up very, very quickly here. I mean, it's staying sort of stable over here. So maybe that is okay with one radiator. I don't know. I'm going to let that go for a little while. I'll have to remember to, to come back and take a look at it. So we've arrived at Cerberus. We're right on top of Cerberus, so we'll go ahead and select that. I just want to see what we have here. Iron, copper, lithium, silicon quartz, and my favorite, rock. Let's go ahead and enter the planet. We're just going to say whatever. Y'all go do your thing because you, you know what you're supposed to do. I mean, it's fine. We'll let them do their thing. And I'm going to check temperature in here again just because I'm a little uh, curious how this is, is working. I mean, it's definitely warm over here. And you can see that it's definitely getting warmer over here as well. So temperature is definitely coming up. I think we'll go ahead and open that vent again. And that should get rid of a lot of the excess temperature in there. That's fine. We don't we don't need to worry about all that stuff being this this room being perfect. I mean it's it's a heavy processing room and the, the robots will take care of that stuff, so I'm not overly concerned about it. I do kind of want to make sure air tightness is good really quick. I realize we are venting in this room, so that's not going to be good in there. And then I do realize we are venting in here, so that one's not going to be good as well, but mostly it looks okay. That's fine. So where are we at with this guy? Can we, can we prioritize the task like here? Let's give you massive priority because this is holding up all of our research to not have this ready to go. 
So someone come and build it for me, please. The shuttle is coming back to unload everything, and there's going to be a bunch of crap they dropped off, but I am kind of curious what is left on the planet, because they've mined a, a fair amount, so it looks like most of the rock, or that most of the quartz is gone, rather. Or no, the quartz they haven't done, they've gotten everything else, though. Silicon and quartz is all that remains, and then the iron, of course, as well. Now, of course, we do have a shuttle upgrade. I think we installed two of them so that it can carry extra stuff, which uh, that's kind of handy. I have no complaints about that whatsoever. I mean, if we look at this guy, we're still looking. There we go. Scooping up some lithium, getting all the rocks and stuff now. So we definitely have a lot of storage here. And because of who is on this particular mission, mainly, I think, uh, these guys, uh, Rovix, and then maybe... Maybe Manders or something, I'm not sure. We're basically at a standstill over here because to construct this, you need Construction 5 and Science 2. And if we go back to our training station over here, Sid. Sid is um, training on construction and is now up to a, a 5, but... Ah, uh, goodness. It's not really enough to matter. So, I think maybe what we'll do is change him, I'm thinking... Um, I don't know, maybe we... do we want to change him to something else? I want to think about that one for a minute while I'm waiting. Still waiting for this thing to progress. Shuttle has returned and dropped off more stuff, and if we take a look at Cerberus, we can see that there's still some copper left, still some silicon left, and that is all. I've changed Sid's learning to mining just for the giggles if you look at his overall skills it's not going to be that good because he's going to get up to three and it won't matter but the thought there is maybe we can just swap him out with someone on the away missions that way we leave someone around here who can still do useful actual work carrying on some more while we're still waiting on the explorers i thought we'd go over to our probe which is ready to go now and let's I guess launch it at a bell. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. We built this thing uh, maybe last time around, I don't remember, and uh, didn't bother doing anything with it. So there you go. Fly away, my pretty little probe. Fly away. And we have lost it because it has traveled outside of the range of our viewable map. And our shuttle has returned, and we can now choose a new destination. So. This guy's going to be like, all right, I see there's some construction that needs to be done. Let me go take care of it. And I'm like, thank goodness, because we've only been waiting. Uh, okay, a critical failure. Um, it looks all right. I'm guessing you didn't break it, but it does look a little, a little iffy here. We'll go and connect that guy up. And then I think... What I want to do is I want to start dismantling some of these guys. Because these are just small ones. I mean... They they don't really, in the long run, do a lot of good for us at this point because... I don't know. It just... Um, here, let's go ahead and switch to... Is it that one? Let's see. That's the repair one. So you can do that. And then is it K is deconstruct? X is deconstruct. Here. We're going to deconstruct a couple of those. And that's going to mess with our research, and I fully recognize that. But there's a, a good rhyme and a good reason to it here. Let's deconstruct both of those. Now, if I have done this correctly, we're not going to lose anything in terms of overall storage because we built 24 and we removed, we removed 32. All right, well, we probably lost some research. My bad. I was thinking, I was thinking they were six not four yeah well it is what it is I wonder what we lost I mean I assume we lost something because I'm not sure how that works when you are an idiot and remove things you shouldn't have removed I don't know here let's remove those two as well and we'll start adding some more in so let's do some more disk modules and we'll do that one there and thankfully most of the resources we need are right there so it's a pretty quick 
reconstruction to add that back. And then I think I want to get rid of that guy there so we can get rid of that one. Oh, hold on. Is there a repair necessary? I guess not. So we'll add one more right there. Object in unsafe area. What is an unsafe area? Why is it too hot in here? It is warm in here. Why? I'm confused. Why is it so warm in here? Okay, I'm just going to vent this for a second. I don't know why it's so warm in here. I, I am confuzzled. Okay, whiskers. Let's make sure we close that so whiskers doesn't get vented because that would be bad. Uh, the heater. I'm at a loss right now. Why Why did the temperature go up so much in here? Oh, it's probably because the recycler is moving, isn't is uh, activated, isn't it? Well, then here, we need to relocate this guy. So let's relocate you to this room. Because that room is more or less designed for this kind of high heat environment. Or high heat work, I guess, technically. I don't know, whatever words. Here, go ahead and connect that guy. And you can resume doing whatever sort of worked work you needed. Oh yeah, that's fine. It's an airlock. I'm not going to worry about it. So long as you can get out of there, which you can, you're just idle. I don't really care, because that airlock was there probably before everything else was, and I, I don't really... Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so everything is looking better. Temperature is coming back down to more reasonable levels. Everything is looking fine there. Let's ignore that and go back to what we have going on over here. So we just need our robot to come over here and build this, and then we'll be good. Excellent. So I think that one will reach without any problem. So let's take a look. Where are we at now? We have uh, 504 research uh, disk space available and 460 used, so that's not too bad. Research is once again... Yes, I know. Well, um, nope. I, I wanted to actually get rid of that message, but that's fine. Let's get rid of that one. I don't care about that one. Probe scanned. Oh, let's go see. So what do we have on a bell? Silicon, copper, rock, titanium, and coal. There's not a lot there, really. I don't know that we need any of those things right now. And I realize that we did not change our destination. We're still just kind of sitting here. Oh, goodness. I mean, I guess at this point, unless there's something really, really interesting on Janet's song, it's going to make sense to go uh, east-ish. I don't know. Can we, can we call that east? I'm not even sure we can call it east. Here, I don't care about all these idle messages. They need to go away, and I don't want to do advanced right now. If we were to make another probe, let's see. Let's put this guy... I like this as kind of the general probe room. That seems fairly safe. So some plates, some petroleum, optical fiber, copper wire, and a transistor. That works for me. We'll launch another probe, and then I think maybe what we should do is get a second probe built as well. If I remember correctly, one of the things we were doing... Was, one, was running a, a refinery? There you are. And what are we missing over here that this guy isn't being built? Construction 7. I wonder if that's what the problem is. Insanity. Oh, that seems bad. Why are you insane? Uh, what happened to you? Your mood is very, very bad. Why is your mood so bad? You're bored. I don't know what to do about boredom. I was looking for that earlier. I was clicking around to see, like, what sort of entertainment stuff there is, and I could not find entertainment. So, I, I don't know what to do about that. Um, just don't go too crazy, I guess. I don't know. Because facilities, shower, storage unit, yeah, yeah. Electricity. I mean, none of these things exactly say fun. I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do now. Furniture. I mean, yes, we have a variety of tables, variety of chairs, variety of beds. A steel wardrobe, which does us absolutely no good. 
Um, yeah. I don't know what to do about that. I think you're just going to have to deal with your boredom in a reasonable manner. I don't know. What is the solution to that? Like giving people jobs, things to do? Because if we could get the research station set up, then we could build a couple of research stations. I mean, here, I guess we could do this. So uh, let's do... Let's do more bread, I guess, because that'll give someone something to do. I don't know. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done an auto kitchen for burgers. Maybe it should have been set up as a cooking station for burgers because it would give people something to do. I don't know. I'm still not sure what I think about that. Are you going to go and make some bread? Because that'd be great if so. I was trying to give you something to do there, uh, Le Machine. Going insane and roaming. Yes, well aware. So these people have good moods. Well, you sort of have good mood. No coffee. And bored. And naked. Well, then get some clothes, dude. I mean... Do you not have... Why don't you have clothing? I'm pretty sure you have clothes available to you. Female. Hold on. Hold on. Have, have we neglected clothing? I'm pretty sure we have not. Where did the wardrobe go? It's over here somewhere. I know it got moved. There you are. Clothing female. Yeah, like, how do you tell someone to go get dressed? Because, like, maybe you have a trait of, no? You don't like showers, apparently. Or bathrooms? Yeah, okay. Reluctant to use showers, but you can... I don't know what to do about that. I mean, there's literally a wardrobe right here with clothing in it. Maybe that should be relocated, huh? Here, let's relocate that to right there. Someone will relocate that. Not that it really matters, but... Perhaps if it's more in the general living area, someone will be inclined to use it. Hint, hint! Subtle hint. How are our probes doing, by the way? They are good to go. So let's go ahead and launch this one. We're going to go to Janet's song, and we will launch the probe here. And then this one, we are going to launch the probe, and we're going to go down to Bakeland 5. So we'll see if we want to go visit Janet or go do some baking. And I like how all the robots are just kind of hanging out over there like, yeah, this is our robot hangout place. This is what we do. I'm going to get rid of this guy just to um, get rid of it. I don't know. Whatever. I'm a little concerned that we have the potential for some of these to be in a place where they can't really be accessed. And then I think what we'll do is we'll relocate that one over there, which I know is going to cause other problems. And then we'll get rid of this one next so that we can upgrade to yet more bigger storage, which, yes, it does eventually use more energy, but whatever. We're going to have research stations here soon, which I think is going to end up solving part of our problem. So, oh, no, I'm sorry. We need to decommission this guy first. So here, let's get rid of that one. And then we'll do this and put a new one right there. And since all the parts are already right there, we just need someone to go load it up, more or less. Or haul them away and then bring them back. That, that works too. You guys, you do whatever you need to do. I just, some days, I just don't care enough to, to even pretend to care. I just don't. I just don't. Okay, research station is almost done. We are getting close to that one. Where's our insane person? Where is Le Machine? I don't know. I don't remember what you look like. It's not you. You still need clothes. Did you find some clothes yet? Uh, I don't know what to do with you, so I'm just not going to worry about you. Where's our people? Where is Le Machine? Le Machina? Not sure what's correct. Your mood is great because you have work to do now. Sleep was too short. Uh, you need clothes as well? Uh, what is wrong with these people? 
you're male and you have food, uh, food, you have uh, clothing options available. I guess they don't like what's what's in there. I don't know how to read that. Here, let's go ahead and fire up the loom then. So here, let's change you from hats to uh, clothing female. We'll do that and we'll do, uh, I don't know, do, do two more of those guys. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I mean, maybe they don't like regular clothing and they just want to have spacesuits, in which case, good luck with that, buddy. Good luck with that. We should have a new thing over here. Not yet. Soon. How are we doing on computer power or memory anyway? We got tons of memory. We do still need more memory, so... I forget if 24 was a... Yeah, 24 is a big one, so... We're gonna go ahead and build some more memory modules here momentarily, I think. Okay, let's power that guy up. So, I'm feeling a little better about that. Uh, memory module, so... No, that's CPU. I want memory. So here, let's um, let's see. If we look at memory, what are we researching right now? Research stations, which need 12. We have plenty. These are small ones, so that's going to be five if we... Actually, I should probably pay attention to what, what this needs. Comparatively. It's basically the same stuff, just more plates, more wires. And we are building wires. So here, let's order a deconstruction. Oh. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Not not the floor, my bad. Don't don't get rid of the floor. That would be bad news. Let's not deconstruct the floor. Research research station is done. Easy for me to say. Can I cancel all of those and then build new ones like that will that re no i tried i tried okay we need to add a research station because peeps need something to do so let's add a research station we're gonna put this guy uh we'll do one right there and then maybe i don't know should we have a second one in here i kind of like the idea of having multiple research stations because it'll give people something to do and i like the idea of them feeling useful of having some some value, something they can contribute to this ship. Especially since that one one person went insane from boredom. Y'all need something to do, okay? Okay, so if we take a look at our research here, way under the computing line is going to be telescopes. So we're going to need 24 memory for this and 32 zettabytes of storage that are free. And we're still waiting for someone to come in and construct these guys. That's going to take care of our our memory situation, I do believe. I feel reasonably confident in saying that. Here, we'll go ahead and power you up. And then that takes us up to... back to 22 memory. And then this should... or something like that. I think that should take care of things. Yeah, we're up to 24 now. So that gives us the minimum requirement for a telescope. That's a big deal because the game has been yelling at me for quite some time to stop being an idiot and to research that. Now, right now, we don't have enough storage for it. So, of course, uh, we need to figure that one out. So let's maybe get rid of these guys here. We'll get rid of uh, that one. And then we'll add a disk module. I realize there are faster ways to do this. Sometimes I just, you know, do things this way and I'm, what can I say? I am what I am. Um, I didn't mean to click on that one. I meant to click, I meant to, I meant to click on that at one. So Bakeland looks about the same. Janet's song. Janet's song is definitely very small here. So we could go to a bell. I mean, I guess if... Yeah, you know what? Just for the giggles here. Let's go ahead and travel here. It's fine. I should have done it earlier just to... I don't know. Do things and... Actually have everything moving along so we're not... Just sitting here stranded in space. But whatever. Someone's gonna come over here and grab the joystick and fly this thing, which... Maybe, um... Just thinking of technology here... 
Maybe advanced propulsion would be a good thing wherever our space travel is. There you go. Because these thrusters, I think, are good for, like... I forget how they're rated, but it's like uh, 10... 10 kilowatts, 10 something... 10 somethings. And uh, there you go, 10 kilowatts, I was right. And I think the other ones would be maybe like 20, 15, 20, something like that. I don't know. Either way, we're just going to keep moving on here. We are going to build some more disk space. Probably get rid of all these guys, and then all these guys, and then all these guys, because that is long overdue. And then that will allow us to continue researching like mad. And now that this guy is built, and that guy is built, our peeps who are science-oriented can now go do things. Although, I'm guessing maybe only one at a time can research? Hmm. Well, it was worth building two just for the giggles, even if we can't use two, because now I know. Don't build two. I'm going to change the loom to go back and create male clothing in the hopes that someone will decide to wear the clothing that we make. And we will rejoin on the next one as we continue flying toward Janet's song, doing research, and making all sorts of new things. Catch you that one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.